In this short video, I'll demonstrate how to create a My Wilson Web account. In the Wilson databases, at the top of the screen, click on Sign in to My Wilson Web. If you're signing up for a new account, click on New Account. And just enter your first name, last name, any email address, and a password, and then follow the steps. I'll sign in to my account and note that your username is your email address that you use to sign up with and it will tell you that. Once you're logged into your account it will show you your saved searches, saved alerts, saved articles, your notes and it will allow you to update your account information if you choose to do so and customize the interface. You can change the colors and things like that. So here's a saved search that I did. I'm just going to go to the search screen now. Let's do a search on leadership and school board. Okay, so now that I'm logged into my account, I can save these articles to my Wilson Web. So if I wanted to save number one, I could just click Save Article to my Wilson Web. To save a search, go to Search History. And then it will show you all of the searches that you've done. I've only done one so far. And if I want to save the search, I can click Save Search to My Wilson Web. And I can name it if I want to, or I can just click Save. So now if I go to my Wilson Web account, I'll see that I have two saved searches now and I have five saved articles including the Resnick article that I just saved. I can also create folders for different research projects that I have. I can write notes to myself about searches that were effective. And so these are some of the benefits of having an account in any database is that you can save searches, save articles, save alerts, write notes to yourself, customize the interface, and essentially keep track of your searches and stay organized. If you have any questions, ask a librarian.